What's going on? Brisbane Blue Bitch in the house. Let's go, Tony Abreu, right here. I'm Tyler Bronski. I'm with Tony Abreu, the Bridgeport Bluefish, former Major League player for the Los Angeles Dodgers, Arizona Diamondbacks, Kansas City Royals, and San Francisco Giants. Now, Tony, you began your career in the Dodgers organization. You played in the big leagues with them 2007 and 2009. When you think the Dodgers, you just think about the history in that uh, franchise. So for you, what was that like playing in L.A. and uh, wearing the Dodger blue every day? Just some of your favorite experiences from being a Dodger. Eh, él está diciendo, te está preguntando que en el 2008, 2009, que estuviste con los, los, los Angeles Dodgers, ¿cómo te sentiste jugando para esa organización? Siendo una organización de mucha historia, una organización, tú sabes, de mucho peso en las grandes ligas, ¿qué se siente jugando en una organización como los Dodgers? Bueno, se siente, ¿sabes? Fue como, fue mi primer equipo. Eh, le agradezco mucho a ellos, que ellos me dieron la oportunidad, ¿sabes? Y yo la supe aprovechar, pero... Ha sido una de las mejores organizaciones que ha pasado. Uh, he says uh, obviously it feels really good because it was his first organization, uh, and they gave him the opportunity to play in the big leagues, and he took it. You know, like playing hard every day, and it feels good. And you know, he thanks him. he thanks the Dodgers for that opportunity. Absolutely. Now, 2008, you're out the whole season due to a groin injury. How difficult and frustrating was that? year for you not being able to play with your teammates and just what was the rehab and recovery process like as well? 2008? Yeah. yeah. En el 2008 él te está preguntando que tuviste todo el año perdido con una, una lesión en el abdomen. Eh, que cómo se sintió eso para ti, no ser parte de, no estar eh, con el equipo todos los días ni estar con tu jugada, con los teammates, con, lo, con los compañeros de equipo. Bueno, es frustrante porque tú sabes, ese año era el año que yo estaba surgiendo y ellos querían darme la posición a mí de segunda base y cuando llegué en pin train eh, tuve esa lesión y, y la cadera y después se me en, en transcurso de que me estaba recuperando ahí vino y, y la ingle y se me All right, he's feel obviously frustrated because he's going it's uh, it's going to be like his first full year in the big league uh, and he feels frustrated because the plan was that he's going to be playing to say second base every day and obviously it came like the hips, the hips injury, and then the, you know, it became everything a problem and it feels frustrated for him. Yeah, absolutely. Now after LA, you bounced around a little bit. You went to the Diamondbacks and Kansas City before you joined the Giants organization. And during your tenure with the Giants, you're part of that 2014 team that won the world championship against the Royals. Uh, I know that you spent most of the year with Fresno, but not necessarily with the big league Giants, but you've been around those guys. so. From your opinion, what made that team so special and just made that group of guys so difficult to beat against? Eh, en el, tu, en lo, después de los Dodgers pasaste a Arizona, Kansas City y después tuviste con San Francisco donde ganaron la Serie Mundial. Él está, está preguntando que cómo que fue lo que hizo ese equipo tan especial que le ganó la Serie Mundial a los Kansas City Royals. Eh, él sabe que pasaste mucho tiempo en Fresno, pero que finalmente estuviste fuiste parte de ese equipo ganador en el 2014. Bueno, eh, ¿cómo te digo? Es un equipo que tiene una, ¿sabes? Todo el mundo ahí son buenos unidos y, ¿sabes? No hay privilegio para nadie, todo el mundo juega su pelota, sea quien sea, y por eso que ellos cada año siempre ganan, la, o sea, van a los playoffs o ganan un Serie Mundial. Ok, uh, uh, first of all, he said like everybody, the team has good chemistry, uh, the teammates, the, the club, in the clubhouse, in the field. They all feel like a, a family, and they all know what they have to do. The, the, everybody knows the role, and they're playing hard every single day. And that makes all the stuff together makes a team really good. So that's why they always, you know, hitting the playoff or yeah. winning the, cha the championship. Yeah, most definitely. Now, you're currently with the Bridgeport Bluefish in the Atlantic League. How much did you know about the Atlantic League prior to coming to Bridgeport, and what are you seeing from a competition level here in the Atlantic League so far? Eh, él dice que ahora mismo está, estamos aquí en la Atlantic League, eh, ¿verdad? Este, que a, antes de venir aquí, ¿qué sentiste tú cuando venías para acá y qué piensas tú del nivel de pelota que se juega aquí? Bueno, yo, o sea, yo vine bien y quería, o sea, quería seguir jugando pelota y demostrar que todavía algo tengo, ¿tú entiendes? Pero es un nivel que, si en verdad, en verdad, que he visto muchos peloteros que son buenos. Y he visto una clase de, de pitches que, 
en, que están ready para jugar esta grande liga, ¿tú entiendes? Y nada, seguir trabajando fuerte y esto es una liga buena, esto es una... You know, I came here with a, you know, with a call to prove that I'm still ready to play baseball, that I still have something to do in baseball. Um, and I think the league is a pretty good league, you know, uh, we seem, uh, I, we seem very good pitchers, you know, that can pitch right now in the big leagues, in the big league level. And he says too that he faced a couple guys that, you know, really tough guys, you know, play, position players are really good. So it's a pretty good league. Last couple questions for you. Uh, favorite major league ballparks at all? Any that come to mind? El, el campo de béisbol de Grandes Ligas más favorito. Oh, San Francisco, oh, sin yeah. duda. San Francisco y Giants. Final question for you. Uh, toughest pitchers for you throughout your career. Any that stand out to you? El pitcher más, dif más difícil que te ha tocado enfrentar a ti en tu carrera. PB. PB. Jake PB. Yeah, Jake PB. Okay. All right, well, thank you guys so much. Appreciate all the best to you, Tony. Hey, tell me, Gabriel, how do you feel feeling in the fish for Bluefish right now? Good team. Everybody working hard. <laughs> okay, uh, one, one more question, one more question. No, no, that, we, that, hey, how, how do you feel about winning the championship with the blue, Frisco Blue Fish? Thank you guys, thank you. Nice. You try and take my job.